age just 16, John Joe Balter had fallen in with the wrong crowd, had no interest in school, no career aspirations. That was until his exasperated mother suggested a new hobby, sending him away from their Hackney estate to a local ski school. Well, three years later, John Joe is a full-time ski instructor with various qualifications in the sport, and he joins us from the slopes of Verbier in Switzerland. So jealous. While his <laughs> proud mum, Debbie, joins us here in the studio. Welcome, welcome to both of you. It's so nice to have you here today. Um, Giorgio, good morning to you. Good morning. I wanted to start with you first of all. Tell doing? us about, really good, thank you. Tell us about life growing up in Hackney as a teenager, because you said it, it was it was hard at times. Yeah, I, um, first of all, I didn't really kind of fit in with anyone. I kind of always tried to fit in, and it kind of never really worked for me at first. And I didn't really know who I was, you know. It was a bit a bit crazy at first, yeah. And so, I think, I mean, it's safe to say that you really had very little interest, things that sparked your imagination, and no direction, no course. No, I, I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do. I didn't have, there was, no one kind of told me that there was options, that I could do this or that or that. I never had no one to kind of, like, look up to, apart from my family and my mum. I had no one to kind of look up to and say to me, this is an option, that's an option, you can do this, you can do that, you know? So, yeah, I didn't really know where I was going at all. Well, thankfully, your uh, your amazing mum uh, did uh, did find a route through. You were very worried about him, weren't you? Yeah, I was worried about him. He'd gone through the... Um, he felt like the education system had failed him. He, 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 he literally, what he says, he was, he was lost. He had no direction. It had been a hard time in general. And um, he just didn't have no focus, so... So how did you find out about this? Because many mums and dads will be thinking, oh, how can I help them? What can I do? But you did something quite extraordinary because this was on December the 12th and you saw something that, as we now know, changed his life forever. And this was getting involved in snow camp. Yeah, I was at, um, at home and I see they were at the Battersea Park. They were doing a promotion and I saw it on telly um, and it was like a light bulb moment. I just thought... John Joe would love this, it would be amazing. So I then went away, did some research, I contacted the charity, Lara. Um, we arranged, we got him on the programme, it's first tracks, and then he was given a bursary to complete the, ho the whole um, first tracks, um, it's graduate, then Excel. Um, and it was something he was just naturally gifted at. Um, we got him on the programme and at first he was like, I took him on the very first one. He was like, why, why have you even put me on this? It's not even... Uh, why, why are you even making me do this? Yeah. And I said, please, just go, just this one day. Just go one day, and if you don't like it, you'll never have to go back again. How did you feel that first day, John Joe? I was... I didn't have a clue what to feel, you know. I, <laughs> I was going to kind of make mum kind of be quiet and kind of keep going and... and ended up loving it but like at first I didn't know anybody I didn't know no one I was on my own normally you'd go over youth group and like I wasn't part of a youth group at that time so yeah I was nervous I didn't have a clue but I just kind of sucked it up and just wanted to make mum smile you know so I went and that day changed my life yeah well you're obviously either very have a very natural ability for this or you had the right people around you that put praise where it was due yeah. because you seem to fast track yourself and pick it up and and sort of go through the system very, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I kind of... Was, I always grew up on rollerblades, so I kind of uh, had a lot of the movements from that. But, um, yeah, I just, I just needed, for me, like, with someone to say, well done, and give me kind of props to what I was doing. And, yeah, I, I picked it up really quickly, and yeah, I, I kind of knew from the day one that was me, that was me, I, I was sold. And, yeah, I, I, I just kind of carried on with it, and... Here I am now, you know. <laughs> well, we're, we're watching uh, footage of you uh, skiing down the uh, down the mountain. So you went from Hemel Hempstead, the indoor ski centre there, and then yep. then you find yourself in Italy in the mountains. And that was the first time you'd seen snow, wasn't it? Yeah, that was like the first time, I'd, apart from in London, when it ever used to snow. But that was the first time I genuinely was like freezing cold and like there was snow everywhere and yeah it was amazing that's that, that's the moment for me that was like yeah you can live here you know yeah loved it absolutely how, loved it how did it progress from there then <laughs> um well i always kind of i'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie and then i loved it so i just wanted to stay skiing and then to stay skiing i could go through snow camp and then I went onto the apprenticeship scheme and it kind of consists of a lot of life skills, a lot of kind of reflecting on what you do on the slopes and through the apprenticeship through snow camp I uh, got an MVQ level 2 in sports leadership and I also met a guy called Warren Smith who um, 
is a very kind of influential guy up in the ski industry and uh, he uh, he owns an academy out in Verbier and then he kind of give me a kind of a bursary to come out train with the academy to do my basic level one and two and um, that was kind of funded through him through snow camp because Warren's always wanted to give back and always kind of help so yeah he he kind of picked me and he he chose me and then me and him have been working ever since and then I passed my level one and two last year uh, no two years ago passed my come back out with the academy carried on my training passed my level three last year and then just consistently working on my training still working with the academy kind of shadowing all the time yeah so this so, is a uh, big lifestyle change snow, because you've gone, had a massive deal yeah you've gone from hackney to being in one of the world's most exclusive expensive ski resorts in the world and um, what what a change of life yeah. for you it is crazy you know i've had to adapt myself i'm not used to this i'm not used to kind of seeing millionaires all around me and money and but it's crazy i love it and it is it's amazing that like with a ski resort, no matter what, who you are, what you do, you get accepted because we're all here to do the same thing. And that's kind of what I fell in love about it. Everyone's here on the same vibe. And yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> well, you, um, as you say, you're in a very expensive place. So money's pretty tight, but you did manage to save up and, uh, and take mum over. I did. Yeah. Last year I did. I saved up a load of money and uh, worked hard, saved up. And um, I, paid for mum without her knowing I just said mum check your emails and paid for her for a flight to come out because I wanted her to see what I've fallen in love with you know I wanted her to see kind of what I do and it was amazing for mum to come out and just to spend time with her on the mountain and yeah this is just a start for our family skiing definitely. Well John Joe you are an inspiration I imagine with goes without saying you oh, must be incredibly could, proud yeah, of it. I could not be more proud and I think one of the biggest things is is watching him realise his own potential and it and it and it's been Snow Camp and the Warren Smith Academy that have actually got him to where he is now. He was given an opportunity and he's just he's grabbed hold of it. And it is what you do with that opportunity though, you know. He literally has, yeah. And he, yeah. he works hard in the summer, he worked really hard at um uh, indoor in Chelsea in London yeah. and he just yeah he's just so focused now he's so passionate about it and he, he has completely changed his life it's amazing that. when you find something like that isn't it yeah. they're, they're all, there's so many lost souls who he, you know, yeah. appear bad but there's just still they just need he just motivation need inspiration yeah, yeah he did and, and he's, he's he's the type of person that if he's passionate about it he likes it he'll give 200 percent but if not you're not going to get anything yeah. from him yeah. it's like yeah well, I can tell you're a very proud mum. You're amazing, John Yeah, well jo. done, John Joe. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Are you just going to ski so off much? down just that slope pleasure. now? I'm just so jealous. Have you got your skis on? That's it now. Back off to work. <laughs> That's it, my skis are on, yeah. Back yeah. off to work. So You've got your skis on now? Oh, I can't send him off because he's probably mic'd, which would be a shame. He'll drag, <laughs> he'll drag the whole team off down the mountain with him. <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. Have a great day yeah. in the office. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye now. Bye. Right, still bye. to come. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We talk through the fashion hits and misses from the Oscars red carpet.